Now the channel Turtle Anxiety defeated once again as we've got a stuck. We've got Mutagen Man NECA Ninja Turtle unboxing and review. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Cartoon Ninja Turtle unboxing and review. Two in one week, what are the odds of that? Uh, today we're taking a look at Ace Duck and the Mutagen Man, and Ace Duck Mutagen Man coming via NECA online as I pre-ordered these early on in 2021, along with the Pizza Monster, as you guys know. Unbox the Pizza Monster on the channel, now we're doing this one. If you missed the Pizza Monster, go back, check that one out. Very, very cool figure. Hopefully this one is just as cool, and we'll see, we'll find out, and we're going to do it like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. Take a look at the packaging, talk about it, unbox it, talk about it, see where it goes from there. So let's see how the Mutagen Man and Ace Duck stack up. There it is in the package. Beautiful packaging we've seen over and over the last few years with the Cartoon Ninja Turtle line. I should say this should be hitting your target shelves, I think, in the next couple of weeks. That's usually how these things run. Sometimes they run about the exact same time. I uh, did not find that to be the case this time. There's nothing worse than pre-ordering than finding it in the store and saying, oh, why did I pre-order and pay that $20 shipping or whatever they charge? Not the case here. So nice to get it uh, before Target got it for once. But Mutagen Man, Ace Duck, thrown in the packaging here. Uh, sometimes it's tough. Sometimes these two packs, they make sense. They go together. Sometimes it's just two single guys. They stuck in a pack together. And that's kind of what we got right here. Uh, Ace Duck, as we know, was like a... Oh, uh, the favorite movie star of the Turtles. I, I don't even know if he was really in an episode as a character. I don't think he was. I think he was just showing on like TV and movies and stuff like that. Mutagen Man, I think, was... Uh, didn't he start out being like a friend or like a wannabe turtle type guy, something like that, and then got mutated, then turned into a bad guy? Uh, like I always say, I need to go back and watch all those episodes. It's been like 30 years. Yeah, 30 years. Uh, it's been a long time with old Kyle's brain on all the episodes, but I will do that one of these days. But Mutagen Man is one a lot of people remember. You might not remember his name, but we all remember the figure. We all remember the character. Uh, Ace Duck, too. Strangely enough, his Ace Duck wasn't really featured, but very memorable character. And people love ducks, apparently. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the top. Ace Duck on one side. Mutagen Man on the other side. You got U warnings, UPCs, credits, all that fun stuff on the bottom. And then the back of the package... Look at that glamour shot. Like two old best friends just smiling. They're at a party and their their wife, Face Duck's wife, came up and said, hey, give me a smile. And they did. They took a picture and they posted it on Facebook. It was a great time. A little cross sell down on the bottom of some other turtles we've had. And then we get that generic blurb that we always get on the back. Unfortunate is I'd like a specific blurb to these characters. You guys know how I roll. That's what I want, but not going to get it. Just because I want it doesn't mean I'm going to get it. NECA not, not doing the favor for me. Pull this out here. We get that familiar... Uh, background we've seen this in the past before we get it once again so there it is you guys know i saved my turtle boxes so i'm gonna go see you later off to the side there it is how about a little plastic prison and there is a lot of plastic in this one holy cow we got a ton of stuff we got a whole extra row of hands down here for mutagen man and i guess they stuck too yeah both of them plastic prison there they are a lot of accessories a lot going on here a lot to unpack, a lot of twist ties to cut. So let me cut this bad boy up, and we'll be right back. All right, we're out of the package. We're unboxed. It took a while. So many twist ties on this one. Had to cut them all out. I did not open all the hands up. Uh, I'll put some different hands on the characters in the old Glamour shot, but we get a big pack of hands. Uh, some hands for everybody. Hands all around. Getting real handsy here, but you got... Uh, two extra sets plus one extra for the Mutagen Man, and then you get three sets of hands for Ace Duck. Choose your own adventure in the hands, however you want to do it. Always like extra hands. Don't always need the extra hands, but they're always appreciated out there. So, all right, let's start it off. So we got Mutagen Man, we got Ace Duck. Let's start with Ace Duck first. Ace Duck, uh, like I said earlier, not a pivotal uh, member of the Turtles team or even Shredder and Krang's team out there. He is a movie star. Uh, interesting, but uh, he's got a very toyetic toy back in the old Playmates days. A lot of people had that Ace Duck. 
I did not have it, but it's one of those ones that always stuck with you on the sh on the store pegs. You remember seeing it. Uh, so he's got a lot of nostalgia feel to him. Uh, and he is a great looking figure. I'm a sucker for a pilot's jacket. That's what he's got going on there. Uh, just a beautiful pilot jacket with all the feathering. I guess it's feathering, not chest hair. Feathering coming out. Looks fabulous. Got a hat to match. Love a good pilot's hat out there. Just really cool. My struggle with this figure a little bit is where do I display this figure? Since he was only shown on TV and stuff, I don't really think I'll display him with the turtles. That's a question down the road. As you guys know, I'm working on my turtle display. It's in complete chaos right now, but I'm getting there. I'm working on it. Uh, Articulation-wise, uh, pretty loose articulation out of the package, which we don't get with NECA a lot of time. A lot of tight joints with NECA turtle figures, as you guys are all aware of uh, from the unboxings on the channel here. You got the shoulders that move up and down. You got the single jointed elbows uh, that are all around. Then you got the wrist uh, movements on the hands. The hands are removable. We got all kinds of hands we can do there. He can move at the waist, of course. Then you got the uh, side to side on the legs. Then you got the double jointed knees. And then you have ankle rockers on him as well. Unfortunately, I do have some paint chipped on the ankles already on this one. Uh, NECA, that, that is one of the things you always got to be so concerned with breaking your figures. When in doubt, heat it up. I'm an absolute maniac. I go straight off. We unbox these and we see where it goes. I try not to tempt fate if I don't have to, uh, but every once in a while, you just never know what might happen. We got some flaking paint on the wings as well. Just hate that. You hate when you move a joint or something and it rubs the paint off. It really does take away from the figure, but it is what it is. Uh, the head is a great duck. It's a duck, isn't it? Ace duck. I mean, come on. I don't know what kind of duck. I'm not, is it a mallard? I don't know my species. Uh, but got a great face on him, uh, the stock face, I guess, that comes on him with the nice hat. We do get a hell, uh, a helmeted, no, not a non-hat version of Ace duck. I think all day long you got to use the hat. I think that's so iconic. But you do have this option if you're looking for that out there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. Stop the clock. I almost forgot something. I was cleaning up out there, and I found another accessory. This was supposed to be taped into the package but fell off in my box. Uh, is the tape still on here, but it was uh, folded over. So this did not uh, show up in the review. But we got a poster with Ace Duck. The accessories continue. Ace Duck. It's like a nice cardboard movie poster. This is great. If you have your turtle diorama, you could stick this on one of the walls. Or if you're building a sewer layer out there, you could stick this poster on the wall in the sewer layer. And that's kind of what my plan is. I think I might put this up in my turtle's uh, display that I'm working on in their sewer layer on the wall. So one extra accessory I forgot to mention. Now back to the regular review. But very cool. He does have his holster belt, which is free floating around here. Uh, it does hold his weapons. Uh, on the back, there's two holes here, which is perfect to hold two grenades he comes with. So definitely put those back there. Great to be able to store uh, your accessories on your figures. But he's got two white and black striped grenades. Those will fit on the back. Uh, very small, easily lost. Definitely store them on there so you don't lose them. He does come with pistols, so he's got two very realistic guns. You know, the turtle line we've gotten so far, we've had accessories like weapons before, but they're always futuristic or scientific or, you know, they look like they're something from a cartoon. These actually look like regular guns, so that's something very different in the turtle line, but we got two different guns for him. I'm no gun expert, but uh, two fairly common guns out here that we can put, uh, one in the holster, one in his hand. That's my way of uh, going with that and then we get some movie related accessories very cool to get a vhs tape we talk about the turtle accessories a lot we talked about in the pizza monster these could be used with your wrestling figures your marvel legends you could use these in a lot of different ways you get a reel to reel tape and a vhs tape very cool small accessories that once again could go with any toy line uh, you want to put these with so love accessories like this i think they are very cool uh, I did forget to talk about his wings. I should mention his wings. Beautiful yellow wings with the black piping really make them pop. Uh, but they are articulated, fully articulated. They go up and down, side to side. Uh, they are on a hinge, so you can move them. Choose your own adventure. How do you want the wings? You want them down low? You want them up high? You want them back? You want them forward? You can do all of that. Very cool and very sturdy. Sometimes you worry about things like that being breakable. It is not the case. Very sturdy wings on him. Uh, and then he's got a cool bomber jacket on the back. Well, this is, I guess, technically a pilot's jacket is a bomber jacket, right? I guess. Uh, but he's got nice decorations on the back. And he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 little wings here. Usually that is uh, how many uh, pilots they've knocked down or how many ducks they've killed. Something like that. As we've seen that in G.I. Joe uh, with the Sky Strikers in the past. 
I love the blue coloring too, the blue pants he's got here. It's got all the piping to make it cartoon accurate. Uh, just very, very cool. I'm a sucker for this color of blue, especially with the yellow and the brown. Just an absolutely fabulous figure of a deep, deep cut character, but a deep cut character a lot of us know and remember. Uh, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's going to be the million dollar question right here. He is a little top heavy with those wings. so I, Oh yeah, he fits perfectly. So I recommend the ringside collectible stands. I say them all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code KYLE. Save another 10%. I think stands currently it could change. It changes based on sales. $249 for a pack of 10 stands and then 10% off using discount code KYLE. That is a heck of a deal. Uh, you've got to get a deal, as I always say. Ace Duck, fabulous figure. Fabulous deep cut, but I'm here for it. I like it. I'm just not sure where I'm going to display it. I'd be very interested if one of you guys in the comments would say, where am I going to display this? Where should he go? Does he go on top of the Toon Diorama? Does he hang out in the Turtle Lair? Do I use him as a regular character? I'm just a little perplexed at this point, but we'll figure it out. Now we turn our attention to a monster, a mutagen man. 80s and 90s were all about mutants, mutagen, people getting transformed, stuff like that. Look no further than the old school Toxic Avenger, one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Love the Toxic Avenger. I remember Toxic Crusaders cartoon came out. And I said, what, what is this? This isn't Toxic Avenger. This is too kitty. Uh, anyways, this was all the rage, and that's where mutagen man, uh, a time frame a figure from that age, a character from that age, when everybody was falling into uh, vials of, uh, you know, mutagen and stuff like that, and they were getting transformed, and mutagen man, no different. But quite the figure here, a little shorter, a little stumpier, uh, nice yellow skin throughout with uh, purple lesions, is it lesions? Uh, all over him, a very robotic presence here, of course, with his holster and everything, but then you get the nice plastic, the plastic you can see through, very cool, you can see his guts, was his name like Seymour Guts or something like that, was it Seymour Guts, why does that stick in my head, that could be, Kyle's old mental ro Rolodex, you know, I, I know a lot of stuff, I, but I'm a, a jack of all trade, master of none, some might say, uh, but plastic uh, there, and this is removable, so we're going to do this. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. I'm a little worried about breakage on this one. There is a lot of break points on this guy. Uh, out of all the turtle figures we've unboxed in the last few months, this one is the most concerning to me for breakage. So uh, beware. Keep your fingers crossed at home. Hopefully none of this breaks here, but let's go through this thing. So he's got the nice pink on the top and a purple apparatus, robot apparatus on him. Removable hands we talked about. He's got tons of hand choices uh, to move things around there. Uh, and then you got a little green down here in his tights, but then you got kind of the green guts down here with the spinal column in pink, and then you got the head. We do get an extra head with Muta Jaman, so you can choose your own head adventure. You get a regular one where he's just kind of a regular Joe. Is that regular Joe? I don't think so, but just a regular face. But then you get kind of a more of a mad, uh, crazy face here, and you do have jaw articulation on this one, so you can have his mouth open, closed, all that kind of fun stuff. Looking at this, there is two ball joints on this, on this brain. So I wonder how him and Krang got along. Did they get okay? I mean, they're kind of similar, but uh, he's got a ball joint in the back of his head and here, so I'm going to have to figure that out. I am guessing the back of his head must be into something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're going to do this. This makes me very nervous. Like I said, fingers crossed for that. Uh, he does have some weapons. There's what I was talking about. We got regular type guns, regular type guns with Ace Duck. You get these crazy uh, scientific guns with Mutagen Man, which fits the character, I would say. And then you get this nice kind of gas container tank uh, as well. So you got a couple of accessories and a head and plus all the hands as we talked about. Uh, very interesting. Good coloring on this. I don't see any paint wear, any issues like that yet. As I say yet, like Ace Duck, I moved his leg and it busted. He does have this kind of robotic apparatus on the legs. These things always worry me. They're very small, very easily breakable. He's got this pink little lever here. Just the slightest pressure off to the side is going to break this right off of his arm. So watch out with this one. This one just makes me very nervous. Very, very nervous. Then you got the piping in the back to his container. Once again, those piping, easily terrible, easily could break. But I'm doing in. I'm going in. Wish me luck here. Let's see if we can get this off and figure this all out. Okay. All right. So these plug in. So he's got three spots on his plastic piece, the clear plastic piece. These plug into. So this apparatus comes off. This is where you got to be careful. So you're pulling this guy off here. You got to put him off to the side, but you don't want to go too crazy because you will break this little hose. This little hose is the only thing holding this apparatus on. Man, this makes me nervous. This, this, I'm going to put the head on. After I do the glamour shots, I'm going to figure out what head, and I will never touch this ever again. I don't like toys being this delicate. It just makes me nervous. But 
Okay, this pops off, I think. I hope. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I'm doing that. Yep, okay. So the plastic piece pops off. There you go right there. Keep it clean. Watch out for the thumbprints, all that. You don't want fingerprints all inside that, of course. And then you get the head. So inside, you can... So he's on a ball joint, I think. Oh, this makes me nervous. This makes me nervous. Ooh, okay, well, hopefully I didn't break anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating. This sweater's not helping. I'm sweating, guys. So we got a little pink flakes in there, but there's the inside without any heads going on. And like I was right, so there is a ball joint on the back there for the back of the head to plug into. Gosh, this is frightening. This is just absolutely frightening. I, I don't like this. I don't like this. Too frightening. So then we got the spine. So hopefully the spine... Okay, the spine just plugs back in. So I didn't break anything. That's what I was worried. This broke off. But this is a ball joint at the top for the head, and then the spine fits into there. Let me see. Where's that other head? I'm going to move. I'm going to switch the heads right now. So I'm going to put this ball joint in. Oh, and it's tight. You know, heat your friend with these NECA turtles, as I said. And then you can move his mouth around a little bit. Uh, you can move it a lot more when you don't put the spine in, but you need the spine. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to pop yikes gosh this is this is just unbelievably frightening here i don't like to be uh frightened with my toys but i got it in uh, i got the mean mug and face in i'm gonna slap that back on there we go get this apparatus back on i did not break any wires thankfully everything lining back up it seems it seems there we go come on and there we go. I did it, man. Talk about sweat. I am sweating after that. That was scary. There's a lot of breakpoints on this to beat a dead horse. Be careful with this guy. But I did switch the head. Uh, you just got to go easy. Go low and slow. Don't give it too much force. And the biggest concern for me is this wire or this hose here. You don't want to break that hose. You're just going to be in tears. You know, that's just something you don't want to do. But an okay figure. I don't know. I like weird stuff like this. I love getting all these deep cut characters. Keep them coming. I know they are going to keep them coming. I like this one. This is one I remember. I definitely remember Ace Duck. This one loses points for me just because of the drama with it. and the, the It's nice what they did. It's really creative, but man, it's scary. It's scary with how delicate these NECA figures are. Just got to be extra careful with your Mutagen Man. And I would strongly recommend change the head once or twice. Figure out which one you want and stick with it. Don't mess around. Don't tempt fate, as one might say, or I just said. But there it is. Ace Duck, Mutagen Man. You don't need to stand for Mutagen Man, I don't think. He's pretty good. He's got that nice big robot foot that really holds him in. But Ace Duck definitely could use a stand with these wings. Ringside stands fit perfectly. Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. Great accessories with Ace Duck. Great weapons. Uh, love the figure. He is my favorite of the two. Mutagen Man, very cool in that kind of 80s cheesy mutant uh, wave of similar to the Toxic Avengers and, and Captain Planet. Kind of was all on the radar of garbage and toxic waste and mutant powers. It was time to be alive. It was quite the time to be alive. But he's good, just not as good as Ace Duck. But uh, very, very breakable i would say one of the most breakable figures we've had in a while in the turtle line but what say you guys out there how do you feel about these two all in easy pass you waiting for target did you pre-order uh where should i put ace duck in my collection where should he be displayed at where mutage man where should he be displayed at i don't know i gotta figure all these things out the tough questions being asked today on the channel Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. I appreciate all you guys that follow along. Uh, and you don't want to miss a video. As you know, we're unboxing all the turtles. We're unboxing all the Marvel Legends, Star Wars, wrestling. I mean, the list goes on for days. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Best way to support the channel. Pick up a t-shirt. Be the most fashionable guy or gal in your neighborhood. And you can get the best-selling Turtle Anxiety t-shirt. That is the most popular shirt there. Uh, pick that one up, and you can wear it when you unbox your turtles. So there you go. So for Mutagen Man and Ace Duck, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.